Hi, Hiram here. This is the second part of a two-part video that I'm doing on this G Micro PSL. PSL standing for Personal Stove and Light. Uh, you should have seen on the other video a little bit of the talking I did about it. Plus, I'll leave a link down below in the text area of the site where this came from so you can get more information. I lit this on the other video and then I got some water prepped. I waited a little bit. It's up to 61 degrees. But what I'm going to do here is a uh, boil test. Now in the instructions that comes with this, it says that it will heat up water at about one minute per ounce. So it's not the fastest thing in the world. It does put, uh, I think it says 1100 BTUs per hour using wax. Again, it depends on the kind of wax. So this has been burning for about 10 minutes now. Have to fill up the tank every so often through that opening that was on the side. But here we have two cups of water now sitting at 61 degrees. And let's see how long this takes. So there we are two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 78, 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Room temperature is 53 degrees. It's cloudy out and it looks like it's about ready to snow again. So uh, an interesting flame coming out of here. I'll have to see how much it soots up the bottom of the pot. It does look like there's soot up there now. But you know this isn't alcohol, it's wax and it's vapor. It's gasifying the wax fumes. You can see that the part here is getting a little red hot. So Let's see how long this takes to get the two cups of water to a boil. There we have 210. Come on. 211. 211. 11. Come on, let's beat the time. Darn it. 12 at 16 minutes 5 seconds what I was saying about beat the time is on in the instructions it says uh, 1 minute per ounce so this is 16 ounces so that should have been 16 minutes I don't know what the temperature was but uh, let's go back to camera 1 now there is some soot on this but that's to be expected with candle wax. Let me pour this off and we can get a look at it. I think you can see that. That's about what I expected from candle wax. But uh, cleaner than using SBIT or something like that. I shouldn't say that. Solid fuel. Now the other thing with this is it's a PSL personal lamp and stove or personal stove and lamp rather this actually makes a pretty nice lamp I had a uh, chimney to go over this but it got broken so I gotta find a new one but even if I turn out the lights here you can see that makes a pretty nice nice flame for, I can see everything on my desk I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the camera but nice view and again, being candle wax, if something happened, this tipped over or whatnot, I don't think you'd get a flash, you know, of the vapors and everything because it's wax rather than alcohol. So a very interesting little stove. Now another thing I noticed here, maybe I should have kept the ring on. I was getting some vapors coming out of the hole uh, when, it, the when the alcohol, when the, the wax started running low. I did see some vapors coming out of here, so maybe this should be left on all the time. I'm not sure. Again, I'm not an expert at this stove, just that I think this has some potential. If you had to go on an airline or something on an airplane, I don't think you'd have problems with TSA agents with this. Well, maybe. <laughs> they might think it's a trigger mechanism or something. Who knows? But it's not alcohol. It's just plain wax. I mean, what can be threatening in that? So, interesting. Again, I thank my buddy who sent me this. Interesting little stove. 
Uh, I thank you for watching. I thank Ray from over at G Micro for helping me out with this, uh, setting me straight on some things. But if you're into stoves and stuff, interesting addition. So I thank you all for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.